Hi, <clears throat> today we're going to be looking at a 2018 high-level math questions. So these questions involve logarithm and inequality. So the question asks us to solve the square of ln of x, so pay attention to square, it's actually involving the whole ln of x, minus bracket ln of 2 times bracket ln of x, which must be less than 2 times bracket of ln of 2, whole thing squared. So the first thing we need to remember when we're dealing with an inequality is that we need to move everything to the same side so that we're comparing to some kind of zero. So if I subtract the two ln of two square on the same uh, to the left hand side, we'll end up with this ln of x square minus two minus two ln square must be less than zero. Now, most people know this is the first step, <clears throat> but then when they look at this and they got scared and they don't know what to do with it. Now, this is something that IB tends to do quite often. And you will see that this is actually a quadratic. Now, you might not see this immediately, but let's say that we're gonna let u equals to let x. So if we do that, then what we'll sudden, we will have this new equation, which is u squared minus ln of two, times u minus two times ln of two squared must be less than zero. Now, why is that important? <clears throat> because what you can see is I can actually factorize them. The first thing I notice is that to factorize the u squared at the very beginning means that I have to start with u and u here. Now, the second one is a little tricky, but if you pay attention, the fact is that you're dealing with two times ln of two squared. In the middle, <clears throat> you basically have only one ln of two left. So what I see is this, I need to do something like two ln of two for one of them, and then another ln of two. So by doing that, I would be able to get some kind of two times ln of two squared. I also need the middle term to add up in a sense to a negative ln of two. So it looks like what I need is a minus two ln of two and plus a ln of 2, like that. So that means we're able to now factorize it. That's actually very important because now we know the zeros are when u is equal to 2, 2, and the other one is negative 2. Now, since we're dealing with a quadratic and we're dealing with inequality, you kind of think of this as a, again, number line, right? So we got negative ln of 2 on one side, we have 2 ln of 2 on the other side. This parabola is going to be opened up with the two points as my x-intercepts. So we can see that this is going to be a positive here. The middle part will be negative. And then finally, the uh, right-hand side will be a positive. We're focusing on the fact that it has to be less than zero. So whatever is in between must be what we're looking for. In other words, we're now able to write that u must be, in this case, between two and two ln two. Now then we go back and remember what we know about logarithm. For example, negative ln of two can actually be written as ln of two to the one. At the same time, remember that u was actually supposed to be just ln of x. So let's go back and put ln of x here. And similarly, instead of writing two ln of two, I'm gonna put two back as a power, so I get ln of two squared. Since everything is being ln in a sense, we can kind of cross off all the ln at this point. And we can now write two to the negative one power becomes one half, and then x, and finally two squared is four. So this is the final solution.